What's happening, everybody? Uh, so this is the beginning of an official Knock On Nation Bow Build Weekend. I've picked some loyal, loyal Knock On Nation crew members to come and help build about 40 bows over the next three days. So right now we're heading into our local grocery store to get a ridiculous amount of protein that I'm sure we'll all have the meat sweats from. Now these right here are actually some of my favorites. If I was on a hunting trip right now and I could justify eating backpack food, I'd nail some chicken and a biscuits. Part of the big issue here is, and it's a serious problem. Dayton and I struggle on this nonstop. Do we want a three inch cut or a two inch cut? And it's a real, see, look at that. It's pretty big. Bring that over here. Or I can go two inches on the saw, whatever you like. Seven of them? Yep, seven of those. Okay, cool. Hey, coming, coming through. You want that coming through. Red <laughs> juice box. Thanks, 200 bucks of awesome right there. Did it. Last year. Look at that. Oh my god. Somebody say stir. Here's the plan. We have at least three hundred dollars of freaking steaks right here. Which is insane. But we have four cent plates. Grab a four cent plate. Grab a handful of protein. Look at this. That's way too much. Double dipping. See this little thing? That's a sweet potato. I couldn't eat the white ones. Sorry. Couldn't eat the regular potatoes. I went with <laughs> the sweet potato. That's all I'm gonna eat. There's some awesome stuff over there, but I'm going straight up sweet potatoes and cowboy cut ribeyes. Night, everybody. See you tomorrow. setup mode right now we're getting everything together for this crazy day of the bow building marathon got a full stack of friends bows people that are good for the archery community and we've tuned two bows so far we did Joe Rogan's and then we set up Ryan Broncos so and so we've only shot them twice after setup. There was Rogan's, there was Broncos. So right now we're box of bullet hole, two for two with one shot. So if we can do that all day long, it's gonna leave us plenty of time tonight to have fun. Yeah, man, it's, uh, it's humbling uh, you to know that yeah, you can come up here, help, you know, help out, no, learn something. You're always learning. That one. Trying some knock sets. Trying to do it like the master. It's going awesome. We are cranking. I had the rest of the team do pre-assembly, which was really, really helpful. But I also want to do the full layups myself. Fortunately for my fingers, I've cut through three of them now. Right now I'm actually building a bow for Jonathan Hart. 
Uh, Jonathan's a good friend of mine, such an awesome dude. Uh, he's done some great podcasts with me, and he's also one of the founders to Sitka. Even though Sitka is owned by Gore now, uh, Jonathan still does so much positive for the archery community and definitely is one of the people I want to make sure has one of these first bows. Day two, we're, uh, I don't know, probably 30% done. I've retaped and back at it again right now. Got a lot of somewhat pre-built and staged, and then got a lot totally done and ready to go. Uh, we're gonna ha have the guys work on some arrows, working on building some arrows today. Uh, that way we can start getting these things some sight marks, get them shot in. And then we're gonna have to call the UPS trucks and get the uh, UPS freight truck here to get these things off to everybody. But this is a bow right here for my buddy Tony. What's actually really cool about it is he's just an everyday dude that started bow hunting last year for the first time. Came on a bear hunt with me with another group of my friends and dude's just so passionate about archery loves it and honestly i'm building him a bow because i know when i was new into it and that excited about it um i freaking would have loved it if someone would have done it for me and that's really what i'm doing here is trying to do some stuff that makes me feel good but also stuff that helps the archery community I've been a member of the Knock On Nation for about six years. Ten years now. Four years now. I've been involved with John since approximately 2013. Probably over ten years at this point. Ten plus years. Three or four years. What brought me to the Nation ultimately was just, uh, I happened to find John through social media and it was the draw to, to all the knowledge that he was giving out. And I was really, at the time I was really struggling with both hunting myself. So The education. I think the education is key. It's really teaching folks to do some of these things on their own where they don't always have access to a pro shop. So the education is critical. He's always teaching and giving back and helping us as the average archer that may not have a shop really, really close or the shop that you do have isn't as reputable as it should be. Uh, you can work on your own stuff and eventually become your own bow mechanic. So this experience has been uh, really awesome for me. Uh, I got to re meet a great bunch of people and. We kind of knew each other through online, through Instagram, because that's just the community that Knock on Nation is. Everybody knows everybody just by Instagram handles and stuff. Um, and it's constantly learning. John's got so much knowledge and that he shares so much with us and is really fortunate to be part of it and just walk away with more friendships and more knowledge than when it came. Coming up here, um, being with all the guys, the camaraderie um, here at the Knock on Nation PSE bow build, being able to cook for everybody, um, Everybody seems like they're buddies. Some of us just met for the first time. It feels like we've met, known each other forever. We're a big group of guys. We've, we've known each other for five, six, seven, ten years. And a lot of us um, have talked, have FaceTimed, uh, done a lot of social media. But we just met uh, this, this weekend and feel like we've known each other forever. I think the most unappreciated part of the Knock On Nation is what John Dudley brings to the archery society. Um, he is trying to bring everybody into it, teach everybody um, just his, his lessons, uh, how to build a bow from scratch all the way through. It's not just grab a bow, harvest an animal, it is how to become a better archer and improve all the way through.